you guys welcome back to my channel um if you're new here my name is chastity welcome uh not much has changed oh you guys i got a new job i start in two days from the time that i'm filming this video i start my new job in two days i'm very excited about it i am on my way back to arkansas from texas i spent christmas and new year's here um but as you already know by the title of the video, in December, I got COVID. I vlogged what I could while it was happening and all of that good jazz. Um, so that's what this video is. Fun fact, I was only supposed to be in Texas for I think 10 days for like Christmas and New Year's and then I was coming back and I had like a week before I started my new job. The whole time I had COVID, my roommate was quarantined with me. She did not get it. She went home. We both left um, like a day apart from each other to go to our respective like hometowns in two different states and see our family for the holidays. And she shot me a text when she got home from Christmas. She started feeling bad and now, and then she got COVID. So. We got it two separate times, but I ended up staying in Texas and quarantining like away from her so that way I could start my new job. All of that being said, this is how it went. Hey, oh, good morning. It is December. What day is it? It's Saturday, December 12th. <laughs> That's what day it is. Yesterday, I woke up feeling kind of gross and I thought that it was just cold in the apartment and all of that good jazz. Turns out, I have COVID. <laughs> I went and got tested yesterday afternoon. I was like the last test of the day at this place. Um, Welcome to the COVID vlog. I'm quarantined for the next I think they said 10 days. So until December 21st, I have some projects due for the church because everyone I go to church with is also tested positive. So they've like closed our doors for the next couple of weeks. My roommate just left to go get tested. She's waiting um, now. Um, I came home last night with a raging migraine um, I cried in my car a little bit because my head hurt so bad. And then I took a, uh, took a shower and my roommate used a, um, small, like square basket to bring me things because she, she wouldn't let me out of my, out of my bedroom. Um, I will say I woke up this morning congested with a very sore throat. So that's super fun. But since my roommate is, is out of the house, um, I'm going to go make myself a cup of coffee and then retreat back into um, my bedroom that desperately needs cleaned. Those my essential bills. My roommate brought me, because I left my mask in my car. She brought me one of hers so I won't breathe on her or anything when I have to leave my space. Uh. Hello? Okay. Oh, our tree's lit up. See our little tree? How cute is she? Okay. Coffee, 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 coffee. I wanted to touch the least amount of things as possible. But I have to call my roommate because I need coffee. Okay, so I called my roommate. I got my coffee. She had put the the filter thing in the dishwasher. And because I'm a good roommate, and because she told me to, um... I'm wiping everything down with a Lysol wipe before I retreat. That light freaks me out. Retreats back into my space.
think that's everything? Did I touch every? I didn't touch anything else. All right. Um, and now I wait for my roommate's test results. So I'm gonna go back to watching Stargate Atlantis. Good morning, welcome to day two of um, quarantine. Me and my roommate watched an entire episode, or an entire season. Well, we watched the only season of Haunting of Hill House <laughs> yesterday. Um, symptom update, I'm a little bit congested, congested and my throat hurts really bad. Um, but other than that, you guys, I'm from Texas, remember that, very carefully. You guys, it's freaking snowing. It never snows this early in December for me. Uh, my heart is so happy. Oh my God, look how pretty the, uh, look how pretty. The golf course is. I don't. You guys, I don't own a coat. Let alone winter clothing. But it's snowing. I'm so excited. Therefore. Just as through one man, sin entered the world. It is the end of quarantine day two. Um, it is 11.43 in the evening. Um, we literally just cleaned the apartment today. We cleaned the apartment, we cooked, and we watched um, creepy things on Netflix. Uh, but yeah, I'm about to uh, read a book. And tomorrow I have to actually like do work type things, which is interesting considering I lost my job. That's a whole different conversation. Maybe we'll get into it this week, but um, symptom update, I guess. Um, I had aches today. That was kind of it. I feel like the skin on my back was really tender and I was hot. I sweat a lot when my roommate was freezing. Um, but I'm really not tired, so I'm gonna read. There's still snow outside. Okay, so symptom check. I still have a sore throat. My I am congested this morning, but that's kind of it. My body doesn't hurt like it did yesterday. It is a new day, and I have to do actual, like, work things. I have some video projects due for some people. And I have a friend who I'm helping with uh, a project of his own that I need to send an email. Um, and then drink coffee and, and read a book, honestly. I'm excited about, what is this, day three? I might actually, like, fix my hair at some point today. Unknown. I don't even know what I'm going to eat today. I need to thaw. <gasps> Oh, my roommate's making chicken noodle soup. So she does not like walking outside on ice. She doesn't like that. the cracking of the ice anymore. Oh, baby. We forgot to leave our stuff for it last night. Sure did, but it all works. <laughs> close to me. So we just found out my roommate is um negative for COVID. Are you vlogging? Yeah, not you. Um fun fact, we've been in the same we've lived in this living room together for 2 days now? Yeah. So after I finish this episode of Grey's Anatomy, I'll 
probably go hide in my room again. At least until there's food to be eaten. I'm not going to sit. I'm not going to wear a mask in my living room. That's where I draw the line. <laughs> I feel like we're fine. I'm good. I haven't coughed on you. And we haven't shared anything. Don't cough on me. <laughs> There's your update. Good morning. Um, so last night I ended up taking a shower because my back was killing me. It felt like I had like pulled something or got something like. Pinched or whatever. Um, and this morning I feel like literal crap. Like, I feel rough today. Um, this is the most congestion I've had. Um, this is the worst my throat has felt. But my roommate made chicken noodle soup. So that's what I'll be eating for the next few days. Um, <laughs> another one of my friends has COVID. He posted about it last night, so that's super fun. Um, yeah, I'm about to drink a cup of coffee and work on all the things I didn't do yesterday. Um, but I think I'll just live in my bed today. I don't feel good. I officially decided to get out of my bed and sit on my couch with my poor roommate <laughs> who can't escape me and order Chinese food because I wanted egg drop soup and I don't know who has anything good around here so I'm, I'm counting on DoorDash to help me out and if it's bad I'm gonna cry because that's the amount of energy that I have today um but yeah there's your update I literally this is all that I have for you I'm so sorry Um, here's your daily update. It is Wednesday the 16th. Um, and today's probably the worst that it's been. Um, up until this point, it's just been like mild congestion and sore throat. Um, today, on the other hand, I have body aches, chills, nausea, fatigue, sore throat, cough, congestion, um, sneezing, um, all of those fun things. I can still taste and I can still smell from when my nose works. Um, it honestly just feels like I have the flu. Um, I spent the majority of my morning. <coughs> Sorry, I have to set my phone down. Um, I spent the majority of the morning in the living room with my roommate. Feeling relatively okay, just like mild symptoms. I have since then moved into my bed um, so I can lay down because I feel terrible. Um, I just took something for the nausea and if I can keep it down, like the last thing I want to do is throw up today. Um, but yeah, so that's how COVID is going. Um, I was going to tell you guys that last night 
um, me and my roommate finished um, The Haunting of Bly Manor and The Queen's Gambit. Um, but I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go to sleep at least for a little while because I don't feel good. But I could update you. Um, I have been asleep since 3 30, 4 o'clock, and it is now 7. Um, my beautiful, wonderful roommate made me some soup, and I'm gonna take a shower and um, go back to sleep. Today was definitely the most difficult. I'm no longer nauseous, that's good. <laughs> but I'm still wary. Of burps. Hi, it's one in the morning. I woke up about an hour ago. Feel great. Um, just very hungry. And some little we have to calm down just a little bit. Just some like lower back pain that indicate that um I'm on the verge of having a kidney stone. So took some um ibuprofen and I'm gonna eat and then try to go back to sleep because I don't want to sleep all day and then be awake all night. Granted, that is my aesthetic. <laughs> but I decided I needed food, so I'm making eggs. And I got a bagel. Oh, geez, I'm not comfortable. Good morning, you guys. Oh, God. I am going to wash my hair today. Um, I think I forgot to do an update yesterday because I felt fine and I was like on the couch and just hanging out. Um, and was just glad to like be out of my bed because the day before was so just like trash. <laughs> so today feeling pretty good. My back hurts. Um, but I think I'm still fighting a kidney stone, which is irritating the snot out of me um but it's pretty mild from pains that i've had before but it is pretty familiar um so fun fact this whole quarantine i was so i was supposed to be working on a video project for um the church that i go to i was very excited about it it was my f it was my first time to do something really big for them um and none of the um external hard drives that they gave me worked with my computer they were all formatted for max um and not formatted for both um and i work off of a pc so um the media director of the church is bringing me another hard drive hopefully it works i have my mask ready so he can come in and i can test it before he leaves so that way we can make sure that i can actually work on it and then that's what I'm doing for the next two or three days. Getting all of that ready. Um, I do have like a question or two for him. But other than that. Um, and also me and my roommate have taken to cleaning our apartment back up. Um, because we've already started this morning. We like put our blankets in the wash. And um, picked up our like crafts and things that have been on the floor um, around the couch. Because when I say that we lived in this spot here. Um, I mean, we lived in this spot. Like I ate here the last week. Um, we've watched television. We've cooked dinner. We've ordered dinner from here. Last night was just a debacle with Grubhub and we waited for two hours for food, never got it and ended up ordering Domino's. So that happened. Um, but yeah, so I'm getting hungry, but I don't want to eat something super heavy. And I'm waiting very patiently for a man with a hard drive. Oh, speak of the devil. It's my roommate. Hello. Ma'am, um, I believe that is my seat. Um, hey, you can't just be taking people's seats. I'm going to sit on you. <sighs> Oh, yeah, I know. I'm just the rudest. Okay, you're just going to be in my space now. 
My roommate is putting her dog in a Santa outfit. Oh, you're naked! So much of this vlog is just the dog. <laughs> Hi, pretty girl. <laughs> she literally gave up. <laughs> I can't believe you're taking Christmas pictures of your dog. I mean, same. It's a whole. It's a whole mood. That is the calmest I've ever seen her in my entire existence. Good morning. Um, I say that. It's noon. I've been up for a while. Um, I'm feeling pretty okay today. The only thing... Like, you know how at the end... Like, when you're sick the last few days, you're just, like, tired. Um... I'm still like a little bit congested, but I'm just like, because of that, I'm having difficulty like catching my breath, but it's just because I'm like, like can't breathe anyway. Um, so yeah, that's kind of it. I feel great. I've been eating fine. I haven't had like a headache or a sore throat in a few days. It's just been like, my nose is still stuff, stuffed. Ugh. And so I've just been like that a lot. But I'm about to order food and I guess work. I guess I'll work. I don't know. I don't feel like working. I would rather not. I would really just like to go outside and be a person. But my quarantine doesn't technically end until tomorrow? Monday. Monday, I'm allowed to leave my house. What are you licking? Yeah. Come here. <gasps> Big stretch. Come here. Come on. Come on. All the way up. Hey, where are you going? Oh, it's such a big stretch. Oh. Me and Maddie have been hanging out on the couch for the last several days. Um... Her mom, my roommate, was allowed to leave the apartment today. And so she was gone before I even woke up. I don't blame her literally at all. But we're going to spend today and tomorrow cleaning the apartment because I have been living on the couch and I have um, contributed very greatly to the fact that the apartment is messy. It's mostly mine. So we're going to deal with that today. But first... First, I need food. So it is currently. One's the clock. Ten forty-six at night on Sunday. I haven't done anything all weekend. The house is still a mess. Um, my video st <laughs> still isn't edited. That's what I'm doing literally right now. Um, I didn't post my video for my channel this week um, because I didn't finish that either. <laughs> Like, this week has just taken a lot out of me. Um, and I'm tired. I'm ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'm going to get up and, like, fix my hair and put on a face and, like, leave the house for the first time. Um, well, even since, like, before I was quarantined, I... <laughs> if you hadn't picked up on it, I had lost my job um, December... Second, I think, was when we closed our pharmacy down. And so I've been without employment um, since technically the 9th. Um, I was still in the pharmacy for a few days afterwards, like helping clean up and empty everything out. But here I am. I've been in my house um, for a very long time. And I'm kind of uh, kind of losing it. I'm going, I'm, I'm tired. 
I'm tired of looking at the same walls. I'm tired of feeling like I can never keep it clean. And it's not that I, I'm not cleaning it. It's just that like I'm living in it. You know what I mean? When you're in and out every day and you're not spending all day in the house with nothing to do because I did not prioritize my time and I didn't feel good on top of everything else. It can get really messy really quickly. And I feel like no matter what you do, like as an adult, two things are never done and it's um, your kitchen is never clean and your laundry is never done. And if this week has taught me anything, that's the most true statement I've ever heard in my entire life. Because, oh my God, my kitchen. We I think we cleaned it almost every day and it just never, we could never catch up. Like I remember we were sitting here um, it might have been last night. Ooh, it might have been last night. But my poor roommate, she was like, um, didn't we just clean this? I was like, yesterday. Um. <laughs> I didn't update you guys at all today. Because my plan was to wake up and work all day. Clean the apartment, wash the dishes, do the laundry, finish all all of my videos because I've got a handful and instead I sat down right here in this very spot all day long and watched The Resident on Hulu um, I'm not gonna lie I'm excited one, for quarantine to be over, obviously, so I can leave my apartment and not feel shame about it. Um, because I had to leave to obviously, like, check my mail and things, but, like, I mean, like, actually physically leave my apartment and go to, like, a store. Um, and also, just a friendly reminder to check in on your friends. Um, especially your friends whose love languages are physical touch, like mine. Co COVID season has been really difficult in general. Um, and your quality time friends. Uh, yeah, you need to check in on these people in your life. Um, and make sure that they are okay. Because this is honestly a struggle. You just need to check on your people, Okay. Just a friendly reminder to check on your people. But I'm going to sit here and um, drink coffee <laughs> at 11 o'clock at night. Stay up way too late. And um, <sighs> edit a ton of footage. So that's what it was like for me. For me, personally, my experience with... COVID-19. Um, I only felt bad. I was only like really sick one day and that maybe two, but there was one day that I was like, didn't get out of bed. I felt nauseous. I felt gross. Everything hurt. My nerves were shot and I ended up taking something for the nausea and sleeping for the whole day. My sweet, sweet roommate, um, brought me food and she would like sit it outside my door but there was only really one day out of all of it that I felt bad everything else was like my throat hurts and that was it I never lost my taste I never lost my sense of smell all of that being said I hate masks as much as the next person I don't necessarily think think that they're doing as much as um, people are saying they are I don't think that they should be a requirement I think it should be by discretion if you feel the need to wear one by all means I have no fear of this virus I'm not afraid of it I uh, I just I'm not I'm not afraid of it <sighs> but I will say that if me wearing a mask makes the people I work with the people I go to church with the people that I do life with more comfortable I will wear one because I am a respecter of I respect and love them. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Wear your mask.
where it's required. Other than that, I don't care. Um, be healthy, be safe, love you so much, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.